the 12 year student of Dome College, Lagos, Sylvester Romani, who was allegedly bullied to death by some senior students of the college, has finally been laid to rest after two years of waiting for justice. On this backdrop, the coordinator of justice for Sylvester Oromani Jr., Mr. Regent Yumo, alongside the members of the group, called on Nigerian parents to give more attention to their children, especially those in boarding schools, advising the government to beef up security to enhance safety in schools in the country. Sylvester Oromani Jr. said no to courtesy. No, no to courtesy. No to intimidation. No to intimidation. No to bullying. No to bullying. Justice will be done in this case. Please, no bullying to any child that's in the school. Yes. No bullying. Mother, no body, mother day, no to bullying. No to bullying. Mother day. All the mother says no to courtesy. No, 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 no to drug abuse. No to bullying. No to courtesy. No to courtesy. No to intimidation. No to intimidation. We said justice for the mother junior. We want justice. All the mother sleep in the perfect peace of the Most High God. Can you sleep in the perfect peace of the Most High God? No to courtesy. No to courtesy. Justice for nobody. Justice for nobody. Interview time. We want to go and conduct some interviews to know the views of our stakeholders on this. So come with us. What was actually said inside? What do you think can actually be done to ensure the security of lives of our children in this country? Uh, my name still remains Tony Henry, you know, National Police Secretary, Niger Data Non Violence Officials. Uh, what I think this woman case we bring to light is to stop worst of almost bullying in schools. Mm -hmm. Most school authorities don't know, some of them know that they are bullied, there's bullying in school. They turn a left high to it. There are children that have been bullied and they've been beaten and after that beating cause their untimely death. This Romani junior case is should be the first and the last that will happen that a child, a parent sent his uh, child to school to say he's in the body and the school will just relax and say it doesn't concern them because this person they are untouchable. Every child should be respected no matter his or economic status. You must respect life that was respect will give it to human life. That's one of the lessons we are learning from Solomon's case. Justice is another thing we are seeking for. Nobody's above the law. The law should have its cause. We, whoever is uh, gullible, should be. Taken. We are not detected for the court. The court should do their job. We are still saying justice delayed is justice denied. As the press conference and the burial goes on, body simultaneously. We in Lagos of Sylvester or Romanian family felt it necessary to also instead of going taking all everybody on the road to worry we said we can do our own thing here yeah, simultaneously to honor the boy we are burying today how can you Listen. describe uh, sylvester when he was alive sylvester romani junior when he was alive was a very brilliant boy amiable truthful respectful and a very trustworthy promising son that uh, has been unfortunately cut short by mid-morning not even midday and his parents well the parents are good christians and they are very law-abiding people. That is why they went to court in the first place. Because if we were to take the laws into our hands, we wouldn't be having a press conference, it would have been tit for tat. But we are civilized, law-abiding people. And we believe running to the court is the best place. And that this country, I believe, should have respect for the sanctity and dignity of human life. That is why they must not trivialize this issue, this case. Justice delayed is justice denied. We waited for over two years. And the soul, the spirit of the boy was going around. Some of us were seeing him in our, in our dreams. And we prevailed on the father to bury him so that uh, his soul will rest in peace. Guys, it was actually very difficult covering this. We cried off our eyes. Some of us lost our voices. You can hear the way I'm sounding. It was actually very difficult, you know, watching that innocent soul being laid to rest. Not as if he was sick, but just man's inhumanity to man. I just pray that the parents will bear this. It's actually a very difficult situation, but then may his soul continue to rest in peace. Amen. God bless you all. Have a nice day. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. I beg in the name of God. Bye for now.